Very, very early on in my life, I think I was probably 10, 11 years old, I was coming home from school. I saw this stone just lying in the road. It was this kind of a heart shape with a star-like pattern on it. And I thought, hey, I, I don't know what that is, but it, it looks like some kind of fossil. And I showed it to my mom and we looked it up. Well, it turns out it was a fossilized sea urchin, which obviously didn't come from there. I thought that was really cool. So then I just uh, became interested in, in, actually right there, in paleontology. Just, that was it. Recently, I've been to uh, Alaska, which was spectacular, working with the geologists at the, Nation, at the Tongass National Forest. They discovered some uh, outcrops of a, a very old uh, limestone rock, which contained lots of fossil teeth of sharks. You can imagine, it's completely unspoiled country. Uh, you're not even a piece of trash flying around, you know, it's just nature at its raw best. My work now is mostly uh, using CT scanning, synchrotron scanning and, and 3D uh, digital imaging on the computer to study fossils uh, you know, in ways that we couldn't do before. Up until recently, um, the only way you could really study the insides of fossils was to destroy them, either by cutting them in slices or by grinding them away piece at a time and recording what you see. But scanning has the advantage that it's not completely non-invasive, it's non-destructive, non and we can look at these priceless specimens in ways that were just not possible more than 10, 15 years ago. Almost everything I've done is a breakthrough in the sense that we knew almost nothing before. The number of ancient sharks that we knew anything about their, their, their real anatomy beyond just their teeth, you could count on the fingers of one hand. Sharks were deemed to be very primitive and lacking many of the features of so-called higher vertebrates. So I've been going along busily, you know, scanning specimens and describing things and analyzing things and comparing them and discovering that, well, wait a minute, they're, they don't conform to the modern pattern. They're just not they're not what they're supposed to be. In many areas of their anatomy, uh, modern sharks are highly derived, they're highly specialized. One of the things I've always liked and always been interested in is applying new technology to paleontology. I think I'm more proud of the fact that we've tried new things and sometimes succeeded.